Hi there. With Windows 365, you can give your end users access to a cloud managed Windows 11 personal PC. And there are various ways in which you can give them access, which might be directly through the browser or using the new Windows app. I've got some more details of this on my previous video, so go ahead and take a look at that. If you then combine that with new features from Windows 365 Switch, you can seamlessly transition from your physical device on the desktop over to your cloud PC really easily. But what if you have a true shared device scenario that you need to set up? It may be for frontline users or it may be because you want to rationalize the devices you have in your office space. Well, Windows 365 Boot might be the answer you've been looking for. It allows you to log in directly to your cloud PC straight from the boot of your device on the Windows login page. So we're going to take a look and see how we can set this up. So let's take a look at the Microsoft documentation quickly here. What it says is when a user turns on their physical device and signs in, Windows 365 boot signs them directly into their cloud PC, not their physical device. And if you want to, you can use single sign on if you have that turned on. From a shared PC scenario, the process you're going to follow is sign out the cloud PC on the physical device, pass that over to the next user, and the next user can use the same physical device to sign into their own cloud PC. So you can see how this becomes useful. You're not having to delete cached information on that device. It's literally sending and logging the person on to their own cloud PC that they've set up and configured for themselves. So over within your Intune tenant, select devices, select Windows 365, and you're gonna need licenses in order to carry this out. I won't cover that specifically in this video. Windows 365 boot was available in preview. And in that scenario, the settings that were available and that you could configure are slightly different. You had to use a Windows 11 Insider preview version and you needed to set up that first. In this scenario, we've got some different settings and you no longer need to use that. I'm gonna click that. And what this is gonna do is take you through a number of steps in order to get this set up for you. What you need to identify is the fact that from what's required is a Windows update schedule for the physical Windows 365 boot devices. So it's gonna to need to go through and set that up. There's a few optional settings here, as you can see, and we'll see this as we go through. So let's hit the next. So next thing we need to do is decide whether we're gonna add a device name template. Now I'm gonna do that. So I switch that on. I'm gonna call this Windows 365 and I'm gonna give it a random of one character. So that will allow me to identify those devices that are being enrolled when I wanna look at all my devices. The next thing I need to decide is whether I'm gonna give this a resource prefix name. Now you can see the resources at the bottom here. These are the things that are gonna be created as part of this guide and we need to prefix this so we can identify them. So I'm gonna give it a name of W365boot and you can see that it appends that at the, at the front of these resources that will be created. I'm gonna skip the description and hit next. So next on this page, we wanna look at the endpoint updates that are gonna be configured. Now I'm gonna keep this as standard but basically you've got the deferral settings, the user experience settings where you've got the active um, hours to start and end, and also obviously the update deadline settings. So I'm gonna keep them as they are, I'm gonna hit next. So on this next page, we've got a number of settings. We can select a VPN profile if we've got one configured, a Wi-Fi profile, which I do have, so I'm gonna select that. Select my test Wi-Fi here. I've got a language setting, but I'm going to leave that as standard because I've already deployed my cloud PC and that's already been set up. And then I've got a security baseline, which I don't have, so I'm going to leave that blank. And these two last settings, security baseline and connection timeout, are fairly new. They weren't available during the preview, so take note of that. And I've also got this connection timeout. So what this is gonna say is I can configure the amount of time it takes for that cloud PC to connect to the platform. And after it times out, 
it's gonna basically go back to the logon prompt. So I'm gonna leave that as five minutes. That's the recommended amount of time. I'm gonna hit the next. On this page, I've got an option. Um, I can create a new group or I can choose an existing user group. But take note, it does mention that you shouldn't have profiles or apps already assigned to that group. So if that's the case, you're gonna to need to kind of go ahead and remove them before you can set up and finalize this Windows 365 boot scenario. For my scenario here, I'm actually gonna create a new group and this is gonna be a device group. Now remember, if we want to use this as a shared device, essentially what we want to do is configure and set that device up so that it can be used and shared amongst different users. So I'm gonna create a device group here. I'm gonna call it um, Windows 365 boot devices and then we're gonna hit the next. Now on this page, this is our last page here and effectively it's gonna give you the summary of information that you've configured. It, as it says, um, the devices in this group will be configured as Windows 365 uh, boot devices. Now we haven't added any devices in yet as I mentioned but you're also going to get links off to the documentation for all the resources that it's going to create. So you've got some applications in here that are uh, essential. You've got an enrollment status page, the autopilot profile that the device will enroll under, and then you've got some configuration, custom policy, and a Windows update because the devices need to be maintained and updated. From this point, we can go ahead and hit the save button. And then that's gonna go ahead and start setting it all up for you. And that's how easy it is. You've got all these policies and resources, but it's kind of doing it all for you as part of this guide. And as you can see, that was really quick to set up. So as I mentioned, there are a few things we need to check before we can add our device into our Windows 365 device group in Intune. So I wanna make sure that it's up to date. So if I go into settings, I can then do a check uh, and see that the, the version I have is suitable to run this. So I'll hit the check for updates button. So the good news is it looks like our device is now up to date. Um, but what we can do is go into system and then scroll down and go into about and we'll see exactly what version of OS I've got running. So if we look at the uh, Windows specifications here, you can see that I've got 22.621.2861. If we take a look at the Microsoft documentation here, we can quickly have a look at what the prerequisites are for the hardware of the device running the Windows 365 boot. Now, as it says, each physical device and cloud PC must be running Windows 11 Enterprise and Professional version 22621.236 or later. Now, as my virtual machine uh, which I'm going to be using as my physical has a later version we should be covered. So we're back into uh, my Intune tenant here and what we want to do is now switch the device which has been looking at into the Windows 365 group that we set up during the guide. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll select the group that's already in. That's the Windows 11 device group. I'm gonna to need to look at the members and remove it from that group. So I'll select, select that there. Let me just copy that for reference. Um, and then I'll remove it. Then we can go back into uh, groups again and add it into my Windows 365 group. And that is the Windows 365 boot devices. So we'll add it in there. Add a member, just refresh that, Let's add a member, paste that. So there's our device. And there we have it. So what I'll need to check before I can actually go through the auto enrollment of that device is that it has been added to the Windows 365 enrollment profile. So we'll do that quickly. We'll quickly check that. It's worth doing. Go into Windows, Enrollment, Deployment Profiles, and we should see we've got our Windows 365 boot autopilot profile that was automatically set up for us during the guide. So we can have a look to see whether the device is in there. Um, 
it's not in there yet so we'll have to wait right let's refresh and see if we've got the device yet yes and there we have it it's now uploaded so that means we're ready to get going so first things i want to do is go to the device and actually run a wipe so that the device can go through reset and then auto enroll into this windows 365 boot functionality so go to windows look at the device which in our case is this for this device here now remember one thing once this go through auto enrollment because we already have a template naming uh, convention in place it will rename so it will no longer be called the name that you see here so we select the device and then we initiate a wipe let's go ahead and do that right so our device has received um, the wipe action it's going to go through the reset of this device and you can see this device has already been applied to Allen but once it's reset it will enroll into the Windows 365 autopilot profile I'm going to speed up some of this and we'll get get to that stage and there we have our screen the policies have applied so if I click on the screen and log in with my account, Alan, it will try and connect onto my Windows 365 account. And on this occasion, actually it's failed. Now, the reason for this is basically either the applications or policies haven't completely applied. So when you're faced with this, what I suggest you do, you reboot the machine or sync the device through the device itself or on Intune. And eventually the policies will apply and you'll be able to log on okay i've synced my device and we're going to try again here with the same account um alan okay, so this time we've got a success it's prompted us to um, put our password in again our credentials so we'll go ahead and do that so i can also use the remember me here so next time i log on it should take me straight into my cloud pc great so that's a success it's taken us through from our windows 365 boot straight into our cloud pc um, now what we can do is we can connect or disconnect this device and try to log on with another user just to kind of really prove the shared device scenario here so we'll do that and this time we're going to log on with our uh, an account from Adele just to prove that we can go straight in and if you remember it does come up on the screen here that the cloud PC data is stored in the cloud so you're not storing any data on this physical device okay great so it has logged us on with Adele Vance here and that has proven that we can now share this device and log on to multiple Windows 365 instances just to finish up here I just want to show you the deployment and enrollment of that device we just went through within Intune so if I go into devices Windows I can see now my Windows 365 five boot two um there's a random characters at the end and that was the naming convention that we use if i click on that i can then look at the details of that and see the resources that were set up just to confirm they're they're correct so if i look at device configuration i can see all these prefixed resources that were set up by the wizard and they're successfully installed so if you do get any errors this is something you can troubleshoot I can also look at the managed apps here because in order to log on you will need these applications again these are resources set up by the by the wizard automatically so what I say is go ahead and check your device once it's installed and running just to make sure that all the resources are as they should be so thanks very much for joining and hopefully this has helped you in your Windows 365 journey if you've got any questions or comments, please hit me up on the YouTube channel. And I will be setting up and recording some more Windows 365 functionality in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks very much.